Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create diagrams. We're going to create these diagrams using SmartArt. If you've never heard of SmartArt before, it basically takes a bulleted list like this one and creates a whole different look for it. So one way to create SmartArt is by creating the bulleted list first and then clicking within the, full, uh, within the bulleted list and then right clicking. If you right click within the bulleted list, you're going to see right down here, it says convert to SmartArt. Smart art, and then you can hover through a bunch of different options here to give it a unique look. The colors that you see on this PowerPoint are correspondent with the PowerPoint's theme. So if you don't like the colors that are showing up on your presentation, you could always change your presentation theme and it'll adjust these colors. Uh, notice that some of the smart art isn't really set up for uh, the bulleted list that I have written. For instance, uh, some of these don't really show all of the information so um, I'll go over what some of the different lists are and what they do in just a second but I'm going to choose this first one right here which is called vertical bullet list and you'll see that it basically puts all of my information into this nice smart art graphic alright so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to create one from scratch and kind of show you guys all of the options that you have when it comes to smart art Right here is the title and content slide, and in the content placeholder, you see this uh, top right icon, and this is insert a smart art graphic. And so if I click on that right here, it's going to open up the choose a smart art graphic dialog box, and you'll see a list of all the different smart art options that you could choose from. Now, these are broken down into different categories, like list, which is the one that we chose from the last one. List is pretty versatile. It um, allows you to basically have uh, first and second list levels, and it uh, breaks it down into a variety of different looks. You also have process, which is good for uh, managing a process, so usually step by step, things like that. You have cycle, which is usually a repeating cycle, and we're actually going to use a cycle one right here called a uh, hexagon radial. And again, on the left side, you also see hierarchy, relationship, matrix, pyramid, picture, and office.com. And for this one, again, we're going to use hexagon radial. And I click OK. Now when I click OK, this is where we could type our text in on this, but I don't usually like to type in my text directly onto the SmartArt graphic. Typically what I want to do is use the SmartArt Tools Design tab to go to the Create Graphic group right up here, and then click Text Pane. The text pane helps you quickly input and organize the text in the SmartArt graphic. If I click that, you'll see that we enter our text here in the text pane. The reason that I prefer this is because it really shows you clearly what is a first list level and second list level icon on here. So on this particular smart art, this is meant for highlighting the first list level, which in this case is going to be my health. And notice as you type it in over here, it will populate over here. And then from there, you could actually go in and fill in the rest of these. Now, I don't recommend pressing enter because if you press enter, it's going to create another first list level. So you don't want to do that on some of them. Typically, I use the arrow keys to navigate within the text pane. And so then what I could do is I could fill these out with the other categories, including physical, mental, emotional. And notice that as I type, the text decreases in size to fit the smart art. Uh, graphic and then I'll finish up the rest of these and there we go my smart art oops it's virtual. there we go um, this smart art is now done okay and so that uh, is how we could fill those in and that's how we uh, create a diagram using smart art the last one is if uh, you see this little icon here this is for pictures and so I'm gonna click within this smart art graphic it'll pull up the text pane and so within here, I see that I have three pictures that I'm going to add to this, and they're all pictures of flowers. And you could actually add uh, pictures onto your SmartArt graphic too, which is really good for giving your um, graphics a certain look. And so I could go right over here and click on the picture icon, and then I can choose where I want to find my picture. I could either choose to search on Bing or from a file. I'm going to choose from a file, and I have these saved on my desktop. So right here for Flowers01, I'm going to enter in that picture. And then on this one over here, and again, you can either click the picture icon on the actual SmartArt graphic or the picture icon in the uh, text pane. They both work. 
and I enter in the second picture, and then finally the third picture. So now that I have the three pictures in here, it's important to note that the pictures that I've added, uh, they actually do have formatting options. So um, you could actually format a picture right from this area. And you'll see that if I have the picture selected, like in this case I have flowers three selected, I could go to the picture tools format tab and go right over here to the adjust group. And let's say I wanted to brighten that picture up, I could just brighten my picture right through here and just go right over here and increase that brightness. That way it kind of uh, makes the flowers a little bit brighter and a little bit easier to see. So hopefully this video has explained to you about how to create a smart art graphic and how uh, to format it once you have it set up. And if this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.